The other thing to look for uh, that we've incorporated is uh, to be able to process solids. Will your coalescer, the one that you have or the one that you're looking to get, does it, does it process solids? And we've incorporated chimney zones. So in between our uh, plate widths, our herringbone design, we've incorporated uh, dedicated zero velocity areas. And what I mean by dedicated is, is we have one dedicated for solids, one for oils, solids, oils, and solids. Remember, oils and solids over time create sludge. So what we want to do is separate them. So in this case, solids will fall down plates here, plates here, and they will hit a dedicated chimney zone. This, as soon as a solid falls out, can take all the time it wants to fall out. Uh, kind of a neat concept. And by doing this, by being able to process solids down and out, you're going to extend the time between cleanings and, and you're actually going to stay in compliance much longer. On our, on our next slide, we'll see that um, a different view. Here's the coalescer. It's a nice four inch deep. And here you can see this chimney zone goes the full width the full flow direction of the coalescer. The plates are in place here, solids fall out, drop up. This particular one, by the way, is a three foot by about four foot. This will process about 100 gallons per minute. Now on this side, this is the flow through this set of plates and through this set of plates. The solids will fall down in both directions, hit the chimney zone. So this is a good shot of one part of the chimney zone here. The baffles here and here keep the flow out of this area. So as soon as solids fall out, um, they'll take their time and can be processed out of the pack. On the next slide, you'll see uh, the same thing. It's a herringbone design. In fact, we saw the slide earlier. Not only is this manufacturer got a herringbone design, which is better, it's cross flow. That's better too. Part of the issues here, again, is, are the nooks and crannies that they have here. The nooks and crannies create all kinds of problems. But let's say the solids do make their way down here and down here. They dead end, especially on the larger units, anything 500 GPM and above. They're stacking these things side to side and top to bottom. And when they stack this bundle and this bundle together in their herringbone design, there's a dead end here. So if solids do make it down here, the, the solids grow back. The bigger the unit, the bigger the problem with solids. Okay, and as we go on, we'll see the difference between uh, a herringbone design with and without uh, an area for solids. Here, two bundles together, and what's happening is the weight of the solids that have built up eventually overtake and collapse the packs. Uh, the packs are not inexpensive. And what will happen is um, as the solids build up, they sit, and finally you'll see what's happened here. With a big chimney zone like we have here, maybe we should call it a beefy zone instead of a, a chimney zone because it's just big. It's almost impossible to foul. I've, I've been looking at these things in the field for many, many years, and I have not seen one fouled yet. That's how, that's how big the chimney is on here. And that's important because if you can process solids, you're in good shape. 